What's up, guys, man? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, DJ Big. Man, I'm here to finally show y'all the new trailer and the truck. It's been a while. It's been like three weeks since I posted a video. I do apologize. I've been trying to get used to this, this new setup, man, this new trailer, this new weight I'm hauling. It's been a lot. But uh, I'm finally going to say all today, man, of a Ram 3500 hauling 33,000 pounds. In between 30 and 34, I got to do my numbers. We'll get the numbers while I look at the load sheet. But, hey, man, listen, I love, I've been loving this trailer, guys. It's the best trailer ever we still working on the new truck as you see we got some upgrades on it we're gonna get into it in a second but look man y'all know i can talk all day i'm gonna hook this trailer up we're gonna get rolling hey look y'all stay tuned it's gonna be a wonderful day i got an awesome load y'all check me out stay tuned oh yeah youtube what's good how you feeling 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 dj big big Welcome to my YouTube channel. 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 Comment and subscribe, like and share for us. 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 All right, guys, so welcome back, man. So we hooked up now. Guy, this was a beast. So what we did to the truck, I'll tell y'all real brief before we get going. What we did to the truck today, we uh, we put some timbers down here, and not airbags, but these things right here, I added those in there for the, for hip to squat. They do pretty good. I ain't gonna lie, y'all, this trailer heavy. Y'all will see when I let it down. Uh, it needs to squat worse than that uh, without those things in there. Let me plug up my battery cork. We will be using the hydraulics today. Um, so we added the, we added the, uh, the timbers to the suspension. And we also put 19 fives. Finally got 19.5s, aluminum wheels uh, for the truck. Everybody who I know that has this trailer, they, they did tell me you have to have 19.5s. Um, you will crack the rims of those 17s or you will pop a tire. So what I've seen uh, in my last loads, it was a little rough, I'm not gonna lie. It was a little rough. Um, with those 17s, man, they was cool, but at the same time, I was like, dog. They was like squatting, squatting. Like squatting to the point where I was kind of like, I don't know. Y'all know I'm local. So a lot of my a lot of my stuff, since I'm local, um, it doesn't really kill me, but at the same time, I wanna make sure, you know, I'm hauling the right way. You know, that's like a must for me. So, put 19 files. Know it, guys. It doesn't change that stick on the inside of that door for, the, for those who think it does. But it does help if you ever do get stopped. DOT can see my tires are well overrated for the weight that I'm hauling. So, um, you know, I should be fine. But at the same time, it's kind of like... Do I want to upgrade the tires and wheels? Do I not want to upgrade the tires and wheels? I'm kind of almost sure that I did want to do it because I didn't know how fast I could upgrade the truck and the trailer. So we've been doing this for a while now. We were almost like a money in. And I'm not going to lie to you, it's, it's a pleasure. I love it. Uh, you guys get to see this trailer fully loaded today. I got a four piece I'm going to grab. Um, it's an interesting load, but it's very, very, very heavy. So we're going to take that load, what, like 30 miles down the road? So it's not far. So but these these 19 fives, man, they've been doing me well. 
it did create a rough ride. I uh, will say that, y'all got skewed to short and I've been working, it's very dirty. But it did create a rough ride, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, but I also post some videos uh, within this video to show y'all too, some of the lows. Guys, if you have not seen me haul with this truck yet, man, I post my lows every day on Instagram. Uh, while I'm at work, man, as much as I can post at least. So if you don't, uh, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram, DJ Big, Big is spelled with a one. Guys, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for supporting me, man. Thank you guys for watching the videos. I hope you like this video. It's a lot of it's a lot of things I have not seen that I would love to show you guys with this setup. First of all, everybody don't got this trailer. Let's start there. Everybody ain't got that trailer. So I know you guys are dying to see some videos because when, when I was about to purchase it, I wanted to even see a lot more videos of this trailer loaded, uh, how people load it, position that they put these cars in, trucks in. So, hey, stay tuned. We're about to head out to the pickup. And uh, hey, we got our CDL now. We're trying to get out of this truck. Y'all be patient with me. I know I'm overloading this guy. It is brand new, so we got warranty for right now. But look, I got to settle down, do what I got to do, all right? $110,000 setup, easy. Um, but at the same time, I still want more. I still want better. Uh, let you guys know I don't settle for anything. So hey, stay tuned. I'll see y'all at the pickup. All right, guys, so welcome back, man. We were here at the pickup. About to load these cars up. We got four units. I actually did the math on the way here. Uh, we're about... 30, 31,000 pounds. So I said 33. So it's about 30,000 pounds we're going to pull today. I'm about to let this ramp out. Y'all ain't going to lie, y'all. This is my favorite feature of this trailer. My camera, I'm going to show y'all as I pull this lever out, man, how that ramp slides out. Now, I did buy this trailer used. As you guys remember, I told you about the scratches on the side and all that kind of crap. Um, but the ramp was actually, it's not messed up. But I guess he had a, because you can use the ramp as a flip out. So I guess the guy had like a heavy vehicle on the back and he was riding man and he kind of bent the inner rod on the ramp as well too so i just realized that um maybe like day two of loading the trailer up when i had first got it so he gonna take y'all back to let y'all see it but this is still my favorite feature man I, i'm a local i used to pick up ramps man i don't know six seven times a day yeah it was aluminum but hey why do it we can just do this So, how easy is that? Real simple, real easy. So guys, we got a 1500 in position one. I'm gonna put an Equinox in position two. I'm gonna put a Terrain in position three, lift that one up, and I got a Yukon XL I'm gonna put on in position four. So, it's, a, it's, it's gonna be a heavy load today. Uh, I should be fine. I've loaded this kind of similar load before instead of a Yukon, I actually had a 25 on the back. So that's what made me wanna put this Yukon XL uh, on the rear i don't i think the length between the tires are the same i'm not sure if they're not we're about to find out so um i thought i thought about putting the yukon xl in position one and putting the 1500 uh in position four or well, actually it'd be four now it really it's really five but we got we got a four piece today so uh, i'm gonna find where this vehicle's going and uh i'm gonna go get it but god i love that trailer Y'all gonna see why I love it, man. You can have all these weird sized vehicles and get this thing loaded almost perfectly fine. So as y'all see, loading this truck. And guys, like I said before, my uh, the truck is 102 wide, but it ain't 102 wide loading space. That's one thing I did not like either. I mean, I definitely prefer 102 wide actual um, loading space. Um, that would have been definitely worth it. So, the challenge of this trailer, I mean, it's about as high as I always get. If y'all follow me on Instagram, y'all can see me. I locked the van, I locked the keys in the van last week. It was wild, but it's not hard to get out. Uh, even, even my big tail can, can scoot by here. Got enough room. Just gotta grab onto the truck best you can and kind of just find your foot and that's it. 
It's live right off. So, pretty simple. So we're gonna strap this one down. I'm gonna raise it up and then put the Equinox up under it. So guys, well, remember I told you I, I love this, man. These holes in this back, I think Infinity did a great job engineering this. So therefore, I love the back. These things all the way up. Remember, the further I get these back on these tilt decks, the lower my clearance is. So I love using these things, man. I know Coffee, they got all the D-rings and welded D-rings and crap. No, good on the trailer. I love that. So look, I'm gonna put this Equinox in position two. I'm about to raise this guy up. So y'all stay tuned. Watch this truck go up in there. I love it. Just push the button. Can't get easy in there, right? Easy, right, guys? With the push of a button, this thing just goes up in the air. Doesn't get no better than that. So we're gonna lift this up high as it'll go, and then put the Equinox up under it. Equinoxes, man, little Ford Escapes, they're perfect for this trailer. They can fit in two and four uh, pretty well. I'm not gonna lie. But when I say this trailer was made to haul all cars, I probably would say no, because position four is really tight. Um, but y'all won't get me able to see that today, but I'm gonna show y'all on a load, man. Like position four has to be like really, really, really small. But hey, no climbing on top of nothing. I think this guy behind me, I'm gonna show y'all as well too. I think they have an infinity trailer as well. I'm gonna go ask them first before I just go, you know, bombarding somebody's space. Equinox next. DJ Big. So guys, look, I'm backing this up right now. I'm backing it up because uh, weight purposes off the truck, also clearance purposes. Um, there's no right or wrong way, I don't believe. But I like to bag my third position up um, to keep clearance wise. So we're gonna back this up. And when you back these up on these tilt decks, it's very important you kind of stay centered with it. I don't know how centered I am right now. I'm about to check it. I think I could come over a little bit. These mirrors are tripping me out, y'all. Y'all give me a minute. But I want to get as close as I can to the back of this, to the back of this car. I'm going to come over a little bit because I feel like I'm a little bit off. I'm a little bit too far to the, uh, to the left. I'm going to come over a little bit. There we go. Now right, we're about straight. I'm going to back up using my camera on the vehicle. And I'm watching my tire. So right here is pretty much perfect. Park the car, roll the window up, put my e-brake on. And I'm pretty much good to go. So the reason why I just backed that car, like I said, clearance-wise, weight-wise, and like you see. So what's going to be in the air? The front of that tilt, right? The front of this tilt, this deck going to be up in the air. So you back this car up the first you can get, that's the lower the car going to sit in the air. So now my, my, my height measurement should really only come from that truck. And we're gonna bring that one down too once we get settled. And I'll show y'all how I do that. All right, guys. So, got this one strapped down. Here we go. I lift my third tilt first. Actually, my, well, my second tilt lever. And then my third one lifts the front. I'll lift this one for a bit. I'll pause it. I'll start lifting this one. Once that gets about even, then I'll start lifting the back again. And one thing I'm gonna also tell you guys what I didn't like about this trailer as well too. I ain't gonna lie, man, I got some cons now. You would think for a $50,000 trailer you wouldn't have any. But I'm gonna show y'all this, y'all come close. I'm gonna show y'all this. If you look on that side over there, 
you only get two holes. Another guy told me he did drill a middle hole, which I can do the same thing. I just haven't done it yet. But you only get two height positions. You get this one, you get that one. So I always ride on that on that second height position because it allows me to get that clearance up because I'm always putting probably like trucks on the back. So because I'm putting trucks or uh, big SUVs on the back, I need to be kind of high as possible. Uh, this back, this back tilt. So I can get it up as far as I can get it up. But to raise this guy up, you gotta kinda play with the drop, play with the tilts a little bit. I don't know if there's something that's wrong with this trailer or what, but it's a little tricky. I'm not gonna lie to you. That might be all we need. We're gonna see. But that might be all we need to get that uh get this Yukon up in there. We just want to get it on the trailer. That's it. We ain't trying to do too much. So guys, remember, all I'm trying to do is get this trailer. I mean, get this truck just on the trailer. So we're gonna see if I can. Boom! Look at that. See, I'm already on the trailer. I'm already on the trailer. Y'all see my back tire? So my back tire is already on the trailer. So now what I'm gonna do is. I'm gonna just stop right here because I'm gonna end up letting that, I'm gonna end up letting this thing down some more because I'm on the trailer. And guys, this is the reason why I love this trailer so much. I mean, four SUVs, four SUVs, four bigs, I'm fine. So I'm gonna just tilt that joker down a little bit to give me some more clearance. And that's gonna be all she wrote. So I'm gonna strap this up and I'm gonna teach y'all how I do uh, my tilt decks, how low I let them touch the cars, or get, not touch the cars, how, how close I let them get to the cars. So y'all stay tuned, we're about to strap up. All right guys, so I'm about to let the ramp in. Again, easy system. Y'all see the ramp coming in? Easy system, everything to push up a button. I mean, you pay for it, but hey, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I, 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 I run this all day. I would run this all day. So I'm thinking about getting that cylinder fixed. Y'all see it's bent. Thinking about getting it fixed. I don't know. The trailers, the ramp still goes in and out. So it's almost like if it's not broke, you know, don't fix it. But I don't know. See, it makes that noise for some reason. But that's it. So first, on my tilt deck, what I like to do, I'm going to set my pins, okay? I'm going to set my pins. What I like to do, guys, an OG talking is really, man, you know, I'm new to tilt decks. I don't know nothing about tilt decks, hydraulics, none of that crap. But hey, you got to adjust. You got to get, you know, used to what you're working with. You spend this kind of money, you definitely want to know what you're doing, too. So here, here's what I would do. I see I got a little room. So what I would probably do, I would probably go here. That's okay, but I feel like I might be able to go up one more hole. I don't know. Matter of fact, here's what I'm going to do. Here's, here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm, I'm gonna let it down here. And I think that might be good. I'm gonna set my other pin. Well, here's what you wanna do first. Let me teach y'all the right way. You wanna you wanna probably get it close as you can first. Right now I got a lot of playroom. All right, guys. I just y'all see that spacing I got between that little thing and the trailer? I released the pressure, so now he can pull that pin and put it in that slot, and now I can continue doing what I was doing. So now what I was trying to do was let this down to about right here. So now I got enough room now to put my pin in. So I'm gonna take this, boom. He gonna take his pin and move it up to that slot as well too. Boom. So now our, our pins, they not going nowhere. He got, I got mine, he got his in his slot. So now I'm gonna just let it down using the hydraulics now. Once you get this close, you don't have to use power to let this down. So you just push the lever in and just let it close. Just let it use its weight. Boom, see in there. And guys, what I want to show you guys, well, I'm not gonna get my big tail up here and show y'all, as y'all can see, man, position four is like highly tight. But I want to leave a fist room between that top railing and the truck, okay? So y'all can see how much clearance is from the truck and that top rail. Long as I got a fist room, that's all I need. We locked and loaded. So I'm gonna show on this on this next deck up here. So this next deck, I'm already kind of I'm already kind of tall. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop my pins. 
I just pulled my pins to this hole right here, and I think I'm gonna let the truck stay there. We should be fine. And also, when y'all got a helper, don't, don't be lazy, man. Make sure, you know, his look just like mine. Now, we're gonna see, that might be a little too much room, but I think we might be okay. I'm about to watch it. Y'all gonna see me let this down. Because remember, we wanna stay low It's possible. Now, I ain't going across no bridges. We in Georgia, so we ain't got that much headache, no way. But 1500, Equinox, Terrain, Yukon XL, all right? All these cars are going about 25 miles down the road. It's not going nowhere far. Um, if y'all want me to get, I'm gonna do it for y'all. Just cause, just cause, just cause I want, I know a lot of people want to see, well, how tall are you in that first position? I want to say I'm 13, eight, to be honest. Could I go on down probably one more? I probably could have, but you know, just for safety reasons, man, I'm probably gonna leave it right there. Um, but we're gonna measure the seat. So y'all hang time and get the measure stick out. I got my, uh, my BA product stick. I'm not sponsored by these guys. Uh, but shout out to them, man, they make an awesome stick. I was told by one guy uh, to go with this stick. It's heavy duty, it's durable, uh, and it shouldn't fail me. So let's see how high are we. All right, let's see. First, I'm going to measure at the nose of the truck. I'm pretty much come to the trailer. I'm going to come down until I hit the truck. So we'll nicely tap the truck. I think I'm on the truck right here. And right here, I'm 13. I'm 13.6. By 13.6 and a half. So... That's pretty much the highest point of the truck. If you want to go here to the hood too, you can. But really, this is the highest point of the truck. And I'll see where I'm at when I get here. All right, I'm on the truck. I'm about 14.3 there. So being that we're in Georgia, I think I'm about 14.1, I'll be honest. Um, Man, there's nothing that I'm probably going to be able to, to hit here in Georgia, to be honest. I mean, even I take back roads. It's just, I don't worry about his trees mainly, but it's not tall enough where to do that. I might try to go down one more hole to see how it's going to sit. But other than that, guys, it's pretty much solid. So look, we'll see y'all at, at the drop, man. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all stay tuned. I'm gonna let y'all see the drop, a little bit of the drop, man, but I don't wanna drag this video out. Infinity, GNW 550. Um, oh, wait, I gotta show y'all something. Hold on, let me get this right real quick. See, can I go down another hole? And I gotta show y'all something. Somebody's actually here with the GNW 550. Y'all stand by, give me a minute. So guys, so I just wanna make sure, I did drop it some more. I dropped it about another three inches. So we're really lower than possible now, lower than even before, I mean. I just, I'm just up here to make sure I'm a fist between this car. Even up there, if I put my fist up there, I know I'm fist lean. Boom. Maybe, 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 maybe a little worse than fit, but it ain't going nowhere. No way this car is going to jump that bad to where it's going to hit the top of this Equinox. So this is about the closest I'll probably get. I got about, I got about three. No. Four fingers, four fingers is what I got right now from the hood to this top bar, you know, so I should be fine. Uh, not going nowhere crazy. I'm just going down the road, but is this unsafe? No, because I got my truck as low as possible. I'm not worrying about the, the, the deck collapsing on the Equinox, uh, unless it's a bad manufacturer bill. But look, let me show y'all something. Somebody's sister's here. No, they my sister. I only have a sister. Yeah, I do. Shout out to Kayla. But, um, y'all, this is what I should have bought, to be honest. But I couldn't be patient. So I had to go with the GNW 550. But look at this. This is a GN 550, and he pulling it with a tractor. I don't want a day cab. 
I prefer a little sleeper in case I get tired. But here you go. This is a GN 550, like a little older model, I'm assuming. But I mean, yeah, this is a, yes, this is actually a 2015. So this is an older model, I have a 21. But this trailer, y'all can see, the only difference is first position just slants up. Boom. And this right here tilts up, two goes up under it. Yeah, two go two goes up under it. Here's your third. Third goes up in the air. I think this is a wait a minute. Guys, it might be a four car haul. Wait a minute, I'm tripping. Let me see. Let me see. I think this is a four car, not a five. Let me see. Oh. Uh, GN manufacturer type. Yes. Yes. This is a GN 450. I'm sorry. This is not a 550. I started to go back and I'm trying. Wait a minute. Number two position looked pretty long. That's how I kind of knew it wasn't a five car. So this actually is a GN 450. But the GN 550 is the same. It's just longer loading space. I think this is 63 or 68 foot loading space. Uh, GN 550 is um, 76 feet of loading space. But still, hydraulic ramp, everything comes the same with Infinity, guys. Hydraulic ramp, uh, I mean, just a stout trailer times 10. And I was about to go with the 450, which suitable for my truck probably would have been the way for me to go. But I'm tired of upgrading. If I'm going to go, might as well go get a 5. I mean, I'm running that like a 4 right now. But if I want to get a little small car in 4 position, I definitely could with that trailer. So happy for what I bought. But this is what a, a low-profile Infinity uh, GM 550 would have looked like just a little longer. So just wanted to show y'all that, man. I thought that was pretty cool. This truck is, I think it's out of Charlotte and they just kind of pulled up and uh, yeah, cause I was like, whoa, that's an Infinity. Like I said, man, you don't see too many of these trailers. They are pretty expensive, but they're worth it. So y'all stay tuned, man. I'm gonna see y'all at the drop. Let's get it. Right, guys so we made it down to drop man y'all can see all cars are on the trailer they all strapped none of them fell off and i ain't gonna lie y'all i still cross strap okay i know that's not the safest way to do it i know somebody coming low you only put two straps on the tilt decks i don't know i heard the rule you gotta put four straps on the tilt deck i don't know but i run two man i even put i even put two right here with a 1500 right here you know, because I'm local as well too, man. I don't go over like right down the road anyway. So y'all stay tuned. I got actually a customer is actually here to get this uh, terrain that I'm about to drop off. So I'm about to drop the terrain off and uh, give it to the company that's here to buy it at this point. I'm gonna let, let y'all see this one come down. Easy, like one, two, three. Wait till we go here. I go here. I go there. Let it go all the way down. Boom. Close this one down. There you have it. Unstrap and go. So what I'm gonna do right now is let this up uh, so I can bag this two out. So we relieve the pressure off the pins. That's all we pretty much need. I probably go up a little higher. Pull the pins and we we'll unload it. I'm gonna try to open these doors. Make sure I don't scratch the scratch the mirror. Step in. We ready to roll. is one, two, three. Pretty much it. <laughs> Doesn't take much unloading these guys, you can see. Easy peasy. Back it up, let my, guy, let my other guy get it. That's it. So again, here we are. 1500 coming out of position one. I'm watching what I'm doing. 
watching my trail don't take all day. Boom, we're off the trailer. That's it, guys. So, as you can see, man, nothing hard. I haven't been doing this for too long. Maybe it probably, y'all know I've been in business for 10 years. Hauling cars, I don't know, two, three years. And from a one car to a five car. Uh, that's not how, uh, from one car to a five car, that's not how it's supposed to go. Uh, I'm very, uh, I'm very uh, impulsive, and I kind of elevated a little quick. I was fortunate to have the funds to do so. So, look, thank y'all for watching. Click that subscribe button. Click the bell so you know when I post a video, I go live, man. We almost hit 1,000 uh, subscribers, man. I really appreciate y'all. I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. Follow me on Instagram so y'all can check out my daily lows. Uh, throughout the day, man, DJ Big, Big spelled with a one. Hey, look, y'all get there. Stay there. Big said, I'm out of here. Peace.